back out here in Burke Street Mall, Melbourne. We've got a sign that says, if you're not vegan, you abuse animals, prove me wrong. We're going to see if the public can prove me wrong. Come on, come on, come and talk to me. Hello. What's your name? Anne. Hello, Anne. So I'm honestly, because I'm an animal lover. You're an animal lover? Yes. Right. And I'm an animal lover, and I used to eat lots of meat, and now I'm cutting down my meat you're because I don't go to the races anymore. I don't do a lot of things that involve cruelty to animals. Wow. But what do you do when you just need that little bit of meat? Like, can you be a flexitarian? Okay. First like of all, once a week. First of all, do you agree what I've said on the sign? Yes. What does it say on the sign? If Look, you, if you're I don't not vegan, you any animals, but there wouldn't be farmed animals if people didn't eat them. A lot of animals wouldn't exist. Yeah. Do, do you think that if you're not vegan, you abuse animals? You do in in a, in indirectly you do. Yes, yeah, like you, you pay for someone to abuse animals Absolutely. for you. Just because you don't see it, you do it. I know. But how about if you just moderate and cut down? Okay. What do you think? This, do you think oh, this is okay? That's babe, don't. This is standard practice in the pork I industry know. to mutilate the pigs like that, they, so they don't bite their tails. And do you think a little the lambs too? Yeah, yeah. Do you think a little bit of this is okay? No, but don't you think like it, it's better than like. The amount of meat I used to eat, just eating a little bit. He's like, only a little bit dead. Well, no, don't say that. Yes. He has a little bit of a bolt gun in his skull. Don't, oh, look, look, they're shooting him. See, now, that's why. Here we go. I, a I piece of cheese. That, piece I watched cheese. that on purpose to turn me off, on purpose, because you can't be blinded. Look what they do. That's a, that's a dairy cow. Yeah, but do, where is that being done? Australia. Done in Australia? Yeah. This is Australia. Oh, this is standard. Go. A little bit of uh, torture, a little bit of animal abuse. I agree with you. Go vegan. She had a good reaction. She was like a mum, you know? Like everyone's typical mum. What did you think of the screen? What's your name, mate? I'm Patrick. You're being filmed, is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, one second. What did you think of the uh, sign? Of the sign? Yeah. Um, do you agree with it? No, obviously not. Um, Why obviously? Because you don't directly abuse animals, but um, it's an in interesting topic, yeah. I agree with it somewhat. You do? Yeah. You do? Um, so, when you pay someone to stab an animal in the throat for your steak, do you think that's abuse? I don't think it's abuse. I think it's, um, it's fueling, it's fueling, <laughs> okay. it's, it's fueling an industry that shouldn't be supported anymore. Okay. But it's not well, directly abusing animals. Well, I, I didn't say directly. Well... Let's put it this way. Let's just say I paid my friend to bash you. That's a good point. Why would? And, but I had the problem with you. My friend didn't, right? Yeah. He, he's, he's neutral. Why vegan though? It's interesting that it's vegan. Yeah. Well, because this is the dairy industry. Yeah. Okay. This is horrific abuse. Uh, this is just them being milked, but um, which is I feel like is slavery, which it is slavery. And these are bobby calves being murdered because they don't produce milk. What do you think that is? Do you think that's abuse? He's trying to stun him. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the babies being taken because you know they don't want them to drink the milk that we drink, or yeah. that not me that you guys drink. Yeah. It's interesting because I come from the country. Yeah. I study environmental science. Yeah. And um, I'm in. I was an intern and now on the marketing for a social enterprise, which is not fighting this specifically, but um, sustainable development. So um, you've put me on the spot. Um, well, let's just talk about your personal uh, uh, contribution to this violence. Oh, I, I well, I, yeah, I do contribute to it when I buy meat, don't I? Um, yeah, well, so you're contributing to animal abuse when you buy meat? Yes. So unless you're vegan, you abuse animals? No, not necessarily. You don't have to be vegan. Well, well wait a second. If you're not vegan, you purchase these products that abuse animals. You don't yeah? have to. Though, the, not all products are produced this way, though. Yeah, but wait a second. What is your definition of abuse? That's probably where we're getting stuck here. Um, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not arguing against the fact that they're abused. Well, wait, wait a second. How do you do this without abusing someone? I don't know. Where are we going? I think to say I'm buying a meat means I'm abusing animals is too direct. It's an indirect... Um, it's, it's indirect abuse of animals that went... So it's abuse of animals? Done. Yes.
Um, let's yeah. just say I was paying someone to enslave a woman and, you know, for the sex trade or something, for the, the sex slavery trade. Yes. I'm paying someone to enslave the woman. I'm paying him. He's enslaving her. Yes. You know, he, point, he's man. a neutral person. He needs money. Like, look, he, he'd prefer not to. Yeah. You know, these people in these slaughterhouses prefer not to. Yes. Um, You're paying them to work in these slaughterhouses and abuse animals. Who's yeah. the animal abuser? I agree. Um, I think agriculture is something that's going to, in the future, one day be obsolete. And yeah. we're going to see a massive shift. I get it. I get it. But we're going off, off the rails here. You're talking about the future. I want to talk about your direct uh, involvement in this abuse. Is this sign incorrect now that you're following the logic? I want you to be responsible. Oh yeah, definitely. I want you to definitely. feel accountable. 100%, 100%. Um, yes, I am accountable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's just that you were asking about the word <laughs> abuse. Yeah, well, you know, abuse is exploitation and yeah, yeah, use. Yeah, yeah. So if I was to use you without your consent, I'd be abusing you. Yes. No yeah. matter if I, if I did it yeah. humanely, if I didn't, you didn't feel it when I raped and stole your ch children, when you didn't see it, and you didn't feel it when I bolt gunned you in the skull and ate your flesh. Yeah. It's your flesh. I think um, when I think about the agriculture industry, I don't necessarily think about this side of it. I'm also thinking about the environmental impact it has. This has got nothing to do with the environment and everything to do with the animals' rights being taken away from them and their bodies being exploited. Okay. That's what veganism is. It's to do with animal rights. Okay. All right. I, I, I always look at it from an environmentalist perspective. Why? You don't care about them? Um, well, I do care about them being abused. But... Um, what if I was to say to you, you know, the slave ships that took all the people from one country to another to be enslaved? What if I said that those slave ships were called, caused some environmental impact? What would that be like? What would you think of me? Oh, terrible. You think I, I was think a terrible person? I, no, yeah, I think um, when you talk about humans... You thought I was, you'd enslaved. think I was a terrible person yeah. if I thought that concentration camps caused an environmental impact, that's why we should shut them. Yes. Okay, yeah. so should I think you're a terrible person? But we're talking about the environment when animals are being raped and killed? I don't think it, would, it takes a terrible person um, to fuel it. I think the times are changing that there is, you are seeing a shift in the agricultural industry. Why um, is it changing? People are waking up to this shit, eh? Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I, I think um, this is half, half of it, and the other half is what I've been speaking about, the environmental side of everything, yeah. Well, for these animals, this is the brunt of it. Yes. <laughs> I'm an animal person. I'm yeah. speaking from the animal's position. Yep. And if you're in that position, I'd be f***ing fighting for you too, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what if, what if someone said, well, let's say you're suffering in this slaughterhouse, put yourself in their position, it's a hypothetical, and someone were to say, oh, we should stop this, because the environment, though. It's all their life <laughs> Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess um, I've never seen one of these documentaries. I've never really look in, looked into it. And it's also one of those things where you grow up um, it just being normal. Yeah, like, in the country, you know, it's just normal for that shit to happen. I used to yeah. eat steak all the time too, man. Yeah, exactly. And um, Not that I think it's okay, it's just, or that I'm not trying to give anyone any oh, leeway no. here either. I, what I was doing was abusive and cruel and wrong. Yes, yes, definitely. And it's it's um, it's like what you said, it's about the awareness and learning what actually is happening. So you, this here, like, look, we've got our footage. This is what's going on. This is standard practice across the board. These are downers. and the, This yeah. is Australian industry, okay? I've worked in an avatar. Yeah. So you've seen the blood, the violence, the, you know, talk to people on the kill floor. They don't like it. Oh, I was, that was the most depressed part of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't on the kill floor. I was in the loadout. Yeah, so but yeah, I had to deal so, with all the carcasses. Yeah. So, so as hard as it was for you, how much harder was it for them, the animals? <laughs> well, it's supposedly pain, painless, but I haven't looked into it. I don't know. I don't know the specifics. Yeah. Um, Use that in the human context. Probably. It's painless. I'll just murder a few people. It's <laughs> painless. Shoot them straight in the back of the head. Yeah. Look, I'm going to tell you the most environmentally friendly thing I can do right now is go out and cull humans because we are destroying the environment more than anyone else on earth. Okay? But we wouldn't do that because it's a rights violation. Okay? Ethical concerns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree so with The you. environment is a... Look, it's not a non-issue. It's not... It's got nothing to do with the issue of animal rights. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And veganism. Okay. Yeah. It's an issue that we must all take seriously, yeah, but definitely. when we talk about veganism, we're talking about this. Okay, alright. Oh, that's something I didn't know. I thought it, I thought it, I thought it was just um, completely cutting meat out of your diet, which... It's about animal exploitation. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think um, 
meat's just not necessary for in our diets anymore. Like, we can we can get the um, the nutrition other, in, in other ways. Without it's this horrible. Without this. Without destroying the planet. Without everything negative that comes with this. However, you're going to see people go out of jobs, and that's uh, that's another topic. What, what's worse? Yes, obviously, obviously, like. If, if, if we make a shift, we're going to be creating other jobs at yeah. the same time yeah. with um, plant-based uh, innovations. And yeah. yeah, exactly. It's not going to be destroying our environment and exactly. murdering and exploiting and subjugating the innocent beings, yeah. which is our focus. Yes. Yeah. Nice talking to you, mate. You're a good Cheers. guy. Challenge 22 if you want to try a little vegan challenge and be ethical for life afterwards. Yep. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, have you, have you um, seen the vertical towers of... Um, Vertical crops, they're called. Yeah. Have you seen them? Yeah. yeah. Really good. They, yeah, yeah, they take up less land and yeah. less crop deaths and all those sort of things, which we all should be concerned about. But yep. when I'm talking about this, it kind of feels like an injustice to talk about the environment. Like I said, in this, if you were enslaved, I wouldn't talk about the fucking environment. I'd be trying <laughs> yeah. to free you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. But another thing, um, if these weren't being bred, they wouldn't have life anyway. Yeah. Uh, Apply it in the human context. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah. I gave you life. I gave my children yeah. life. I can exploit and, and kill, kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, right, brother. Nice talking to you, mate. Yeah. Take care. I was just wondering, um, I'm thinking about becoming a vegan. Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, because I was watching a documentary on the death penalty in America. Well. Wow. And this woman, uh, uh, this nun was talking about her experience with the death penalty, and she said, there are people out there who, will, who are for the death penalty, but she says, if you in your mind cannot say for certain I would pull the trigger, I would inject them. So there's something in your heart that is not okay. fully committed. And that's to why you think about veganism from that well, premise. Because the only reason I can eat meat is because it's not it doesn't look like an animal. If I had to go out and actually murder the cow yeah. or murder the chicken, I couldn't do it. Very so, strong point. So that to me sort of it feels like quite like a similar okay. Well, let's just say, let me put this to you. Would you pay someone to kill me if you hated my guts? No. Well, you're paying someone to kill innocent animals when you yeah. aren't vegan. You're complicit in it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's something that's... But I, Do you agree with the sign, by the way? Well, I don't know. It seems a bit harsh. <laughs> truth is harsh, isn't it? Well, that is true. The well, truth let's, is... Let's follow it logically. Like, uh, what do you consider abuse? Ex exploitation? Use? Taking away someone's children, breeding them, yeah, putting them in pens. I don't really want to look at that. Gas chambers. And yeah. Yeah. So when you pay someone to enslave and kill and chop up animals for you, are you not complicit in that abuse? Oh, absolutely. Because so if, if you don't do something to stop it, then you're accepting it and going along with it and well, saying this well, is... Well, maybe that's an activism argument, like if you're directly trying to stop it, but you're actually causing it. So we can talk about being neutral, which is being vegan, not, not causing it. And then we can talk about activism, which is trying to stop it. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stop it. But just, you're actively paying for them to be abused, which is why I say, if you're not vegan, you're abusing animals. Yeah, well, that, that makes sense because you are, as long as you don't have to see it, then the, you don't Crazy. think about it. Yeah. You have a good heart, um, a conscience. Okay. But I did wonder about cows yeah. with veganism because uh, vegans obviously don't drink milk. Yeah. But if cows aren't milked, don't, doesn't that kill them? Don't their udders explode and they die? Okay, so let's talk about the dairy industry. Here's footage from the dairy industry in Australia. So cows to produce milk have to have a baby. So they're forcibly impregnated and then they, so they, this is the way they forcibly impregnate them. Okay. So when they have their baby, the baby gets taken away. Okay, if the baby's born a male, they get shot on sight. Okay, because males don't produce milk for the dairy industry, okay? So they can be grown for veal or grown for beef, but usually shot on site. Um, this is artificial insemination. It's yeah. basically they're raping her. Yeah, I don't really, yeah. yeah. Now, she'll produce milk year after year, okay? She'll dry up, they'll rape her again, she'll produce another child, they'll, she'll have that taken, and then after she can't produce milk anymore, turn into beef. Okay, so if cow, cows only produce milk, they're, they're like human women, they only produce milk when they have a baby. Do you have any children? No. Okay. So it's not like if we stopped dairy farming, all these cows would die because their udders would explode because they're full of milk and no one's milking them. Yeah. 
they skip out a lot of the, the, the procedure. They don't tell us that cows are raped and have their children, uh, they're impregnated, have their uh, the calves taken from them, and then they take the milk. They don't tell us that. Yeah, no, that was just always something I heard, that you have to milk cows, otherwise they die. Well, they're milking them three times a day in these big uh, milking parlours, and they've been selectively bred to produce 12 times more milk than normally. They're, it's an industry, basically. They're industrializing these animals. Now, whatever they tell you is their excuse for this. It's just their excuse. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think a lot of people in good faith accept what they say and say, oh, well, they would know. And so you don't know what the actual truth is because you just take it on good faith. That's what they're saying. Well, they have their procedures online. You can check up the dairy humane standards in Australia. All of these uh, practices of taking calves away, killing bobby calves, uh, slaughtering the mothers after they can't produce milk for us anymore, turning them to burgers, uh, turning them into leather couches. This all this is all easy for you to find out yourself. We have footage from inside these places. You know, we're we're getting the footage. Industry won't. We're showing people. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah, it's just something I've been thinking about for a while. If I myself couldn't actually murder an animal for food there must be something in my conscience and in my heart that says I'm not comfortable with the process yeah. and you have other things to eat and every single individual here in Melbourne right now has got other things to eat other than someone's body can you recommend a good vegan cookbook I can you, uh, recommend you a fantastic um, Facebook group yeah. it's called challenge 22 you can do a little uh, vegan challenge at the start uh -huh. and they help you with all this you can go hey uh, I'm in Melbourne I want to do the, uh, the vegan challenge and you can say what's the good milk where's this uh, what's some good recipes and I, I work with them and anyone who's interested can sign up yeah well I mean I grew my family is a Sicilian farmers and they couldn't afford meat you know they were peasants so I know a lot of already yeah, pasta pretty. and beans and yeah, yeah things yeah, like yeah. that yeah. so Okay, so yeah, it's, it's something I've been sort of struggling with a bit for a you while. You don't seem like you'd be comfortable with abusing animals. No, well, it's like she said, if you, that nun said, if you yourself say I'm for the death penalty, but you couldn't actually do the lethal injection, you couldn't pull the switch on the electric chair, then obviously there's something in you that's not comfortable with it. And if I, I can eat an animal once I, it's unrecognisable, but if I had to actually go out there and murder an animal, I couldn't do it, which says to me, I'm not comfortable with it, deep down. You're a vegan in your heart. I think so. <laughs> really nice talking to you. Yeah, Remember, it's called Challenge 22. Challenge so Challenge 22. Two. No, it's just, just Google the website and then you can sign up and they'll contact you back. Okay. All right. Thanks nice very much.